Remy, thank you very much. Let's go to Nyeri, where life is back uh, on the streets and in the markets as a jubilant mood sweeps across the county as provisional results keep streaming in. Carol Derry reports. <laughs> It is about 5.30 p.m. and we are at the main talent center for Nyeri County. But as you can see, there is minimal activity. Uh, it is expected that maybe by now there'd be a flurry of activity here, but that is not the case. However, we have just spoken to the Nyeri County returning officer, Aluisia Kanini, who says that uh, everything is in order. She's satisfied with the process so far. The election was heavy with six elections in one day. We are working around the clock and we shall be able to announce winners when all the results are got. We expect to start this process of announcing winners from tonight. The constituencies may start later in the night to issue certificates. Across other constituency talent centers such as this one at the Nyeri National Polytechnic, there was also little activity during the day with a peak expected later. 456,949 registered voters who included retired President Mwai Kibaki, who voted at Munaini Primary School in Udaya, are eagerly awaiting to hear who will constitute the new Nyeri government once it is officially in place. However, so far, according to the results at hand, Jubilee candidates seem to have been in favor by the electorate. A majority are in a clear lead ahead of their competitors who vied as independent candidates or in other parties. While conceding defeat, Patrick Monene Cairo said the people of Nyeri will be expecting the new county government to improve the lives of the people. We wish the Nyeri people well. Uh, we wish the victors all the best. And uh, just to remind them that uh, to him who is given a lot, a lot is expected. In the senatorial race, Jubilee's engineer Ephraim Miner also maintained a clear lead ahead of independent candidate Daniel Omahio, who is at second place, and Wambogonyamo in third place. Others were Patrick Gukura, Steve Nderi, and Paul Kanja. For the woman rep position, Jubilee's Rehab Mokami is leading so far ahead of incumbent woman rep Priscilla Nyokabi. Others are Joyce Njoki, Cecilia Wangeshi, Alice Wangari, and Jane Susan. I want to ask the people of Madeira to stay united. Those who voted for me, those who did not vote for me, are Madeira people. I'm going to work for all of them. Nyeri Town Jubilee candidate Ngunjiri Wambogo is also in a clear lead. Across the six constituencies of Nyeri County, all the Jubilee candidates are in an apparent lead. Madera's Rigadi Gashagwa, Mukurene's Anthony Kiai, who has trounced the incumbent Kabando Akabando, Tetu's James Gishuhi, who has trounced incumbent Ndongo Gedenji, Nyeri Town's Ngunjiri Wambogo, Odaya's Mugambi Gishuki, Kenny's Kanini Kega, and Woman Ref Rehab Mokami. The people of Nyeri County are generally expectant of a government that will tend to their needs and improve their lives, bearing in mind that agriculture is the backbone of the economy of Nyeri and the larger central Kenya. Carol Derry, KT News, Nyeri County.